deep breath. Right now. You don't know how awesome this is to hear you and see you. You remember two years ago, almost to the day, you had sudden cardiac death. You died. And your husband brought you back. And uh, it's been a long road, a lot of complications. But I hope what you're doing now. This is what we can do. If we can get someone through that complicated, really high risk time you're gonna live a long healthy absolutely fantastic life well i think that with the support of like your cardiac team and listening to me um saved my life to where i can continue to possibly live to my life you actually let's give credit where credit's due now John saved your life. He yeah. did. Awesome John, husband. <laughs> yeah. right. I'm not brain dead. <laughs> You're fantastic. You are a success story. And honestly, it breaks my heart that there are, are so many that are not a success story. I know. I'm very lucky to be alive. I, I know this. I, I, I felt the death. I, I know what it feels like to die. And then I know what it feels like to recover from that and it's it just changes you and i love what you're doing now you are saving so many lives you're getting the word out and you're letting people know this is preventable and treatable you have to pay attention yes there is prevention i i always say maternal mortality is an ancient it should be an ancient conversation it's sadly a really active conversation especially in this country the richest country in the world exactly it is, we can't go on. No. Which is why cardiology is the only chance gynecology doesn't have the BNP test but available. You know, well, you know we are starting this cardio obstetrics program here at UCLA, thanks in large part to you, because we have to talk. Right. This is the most vulnerable group of young women during the pregnancy, and if we don't start talking, we will never yeah. get this. PPCM is responsible for one in 20 heart transplants in women in the US. The maternal mortality death rate is very high, but it's also very preventable with early diagnosis. Education and the awareness is the key for not only saving the mother, possibly also saving the baby. Early diagnosis and the awareness saves lives.